Probability theory allows us to attach numbers to statements such as chances are good or it is likely that. And in order to get started in probability theory, we're going to need a few definitions. We'll refer to an experiment as an observation of a random phenomenon. And an outcome is going to be any possible result of an experiment and the set of all possible outcomes for a given experiment is the sample space. Okay, so for example, flipping a coin once is an experiment. The outcomes for this experiment are heads and tails which we can abbreviate as H and T, and the sample space is the set HT. Let's look at two more examples. First of all, we select an item from a production line and determine if it is defective. So, the sample space in this case, just be uh, two elements set again. The item could be defective or not defective. Next item, three children are born to a family, and we note the birth order with respect to gender. And so for uh, any given child, of course, there are two possibilities, boy or girl. And so uh, we could have all three boys, boy, 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 or you could have two boys and a girl, and this will indicate that the eldest is a boy, and then the middle child also a boy, and then the youngest is a girl. And then of course the girl could be the middle child, or the girl could be the oldest. And obviously these are different outcomes. As I'm sure you know, it makes a difference whether the girl is the youngest, the middle child, or the oldest. And then we can uh, give the possibilities in case there are two girls. Girl, girl, boy. Girl, boy, girl. And boy, girl, girl. And then finally, the last possibility, all three are girls. So there's our sample space for part B. two other examples of experiments here, but for these experiments it's not possible to write out the entire sample space because uh, the sample space is too large. But we can write out a few uh, sample outcomes. First one says select one card from a standard deck, then select a second card. Okay, so some of the outcomes would be uh, spade king, and uh, diamond nine. And 
uh, Club Three and Heart Jack. Okay, so you get the idea. Okay, and what we can do though is we can count the sample space. That's fairly easy to do. Number in the sample space. Uh, we get this by looking at the uh, number of ways to pick the first card, which is 52, of course. And then the number of ways to pick the second card is 51. So 52 times 51. And the answer is 2,652. Okay, one other uh, type of experiment. We want to roll two dice this time. Uh, one is going to be a red die and the other is a green die. And we'll observe the result. Okay, so again we can write down a few sample outcomes. We could have a, a one and a four, let's say. Let's say this is the red die, this is the green die. One and four. Uh, we could also have it the other way around. We could have the red die with a four and the green die with a one. Okay, so that should be a parenthesis there. And again, to count this sample space, we consider the number of possibilities for the red die, which is six, of course. Then multiply that by the number of possibilities for the green die, also six. And so the total number of outcomes in this sample space is 36. Okay, our next definition, an event is a subset of the sample space. Okay, so for example, we may be interested in an event such as the total shown by the two dice is seven for our last experiment. And that is a, uh, a set which we can easily write out. And this event, E, will consist of the outcomes 1, 6, 2, 5, 3, 4, 4, 3, 5, 2, and 6, 1. Remember, 4, 3, and 3, 4, for example, are not the same because this is the red die and this is the green die. So red 3, green 4 is not the same as red 4, green 3, even though the total is the same. 